Back. What's up, man? Welcome to the Travis Thomas Experience. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Long time listener, first time caller. How's everything going? <laughs> I love that, man. Everything's good, man. It's good to hear from you. And uh, I obviously, Appreciate it. I obviously want your take on this topic. But then I also don't want you to promote that kick-ass podcast you have. I've actually been on yeah. it. I love it. So we'll get to that. We'll talk business in a minute, but. Where do you uh, weigh in? Because you watched every Wizards game just like I did. I oh, mean, yeah. Do, uh, yeah. What the, the, what side do you weigh in on? Well, now you can't bet the over every time, so it's going to be more interesting. No kidding. Um, but I also think it's time to – they've got Westbrook. You've got Beal. You've got some ancillary pieces. It's time to assemble a big three, and I think it's the perfect time to bring Andre Blatch back into the fold. <laughs> I was hoping you were going Davis Bertans as part of my big three, but you gave me a throwback. Nice. Blatch, you get Blatch. The thing is, Westbrook needs the ball. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Beal needs the ball, but Blatch, Blatch is the he's, he's he's a one. Bring him in, you get it. No, no, to, be, to be completely honest, I do like the trade. I don't know what that. I don't know what Houston was doing. I personally believe that Bill O'Brien is now running the Rockets front office. Um, but I don't know what what they're doing trading for John Wall, giving up a former MVP, nine-time All Star, nine-time All uh, All NBA guy for a guy who's coming off a heel surgery and the torn Achilles, they're, maybe they're trying to recreate Kentucky from a couple of years ago. I, I don't mean, know what they're doing since Westbrook. Harden apparently wants out. I don't know if you saw this. Apparently he went to the baby's birthday party the other day, gave him a $300,000 gift, including a $100,000 bag with cinnamon buns inside. That's the kind of teammate I want. I don't know about you. But <laughs> so it's, it's interesting. I, I think they're a top seven seed. How do you see it this year? I mean, congratulations. Uh, it's like, okay, you're top seven. You're going to get smoked by who, Milwaukee or uh, or Boston in the first round? I mean, th- isn't that the same old dance that we're used to around here? When we do make the playoffs, it's a seven or eight, and then they get their butt kicked. So what difference does it make? To me, yeah. I agree with you, but I, I do. I you, Look, you know I get sidetracked, so I want to go back and tell a funny Andre Blatch story. Do you mind if I do that? Go for it. I love to hear it. All right. This is a true story. So this was in College Park. Uh, I was much younger, and Andre Blatch was kind of cool at the time, right? Kind of. And so I, I, go to this, I go to this place, this night nightclub hangout place, and Andre Blatch shows up, and he goes straight to VIP. And the, the, uh, the DJ comes on the mic, stops the music, and goes, Hey, everybody. Make some noise, ladies. Make some noise. Andre Blatch of the Wizards just walked in. He's in VIP. Make some noise. Zach, it was crickets. There was zero noise. It You could have heard a pin drop. I heard one girl near my section go, who? It was beautiful. And Zach, in pure, like, D-bag fashion, he went to the VIP he sat there alone. He had all these bottles come and no one hanging out in there. Not even me, who was in the media and knew who he was, went in to say hi. I just laughed at him and got more drunk. So that's my story. Could you promote your podcast, please? Yeah, absolutely. Did Al Thornton show up or he was busy that night? <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, my podcast, appreciate it. Uh, it's called A Pond Further Review. We've had some really cool guests over the past week. We had former Bears coach uh, Mark Tressman, Super Bowl champion Ryan Harris from the Broncos, who's also a radio broadcaster for Notre Dame. And yesterday we had uh, Nick Ashby from 106 on the fan at NBC Sports Watch. And this coming week, we've got Jared Greenberg from NBA TV and NBA on TNT. We've got our legendary kick returner Dante Hall. We're still working on Friday's guest, but just it's a lot of fun. Come check it out uh, on Instagram and on Twitter at UFR Podcast. It's also on YouTube and all podcast platforms. Hey, you do a great job. I had a lot of fun on there, and uh, I'd love to come back sometime, brother. And I appreciate Absolutely, you calling man. my show, too. Absolutely. Appreciate it, man. Take it easy. All right, brother. Zach Brooke. All right, man. The man.